Welcome back to Kelvin's Coin TV, everybody. My name is Ross, and today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Pool of Radiance. Now we have one quest remaining, which is the castle, the Valievo Castle. There are two sections, two overarching sections to this quest. There's the outer castle and the inner castle. Uh, each the outer and the inner castle are divided into four quadrants, four equal rectangles, basically. We're at the gate right now, Stoyanov Gate. We're going to go through it. We're going to go to the next section. And then we'll be in the southwestern quadrant of the castle. We're going to do southwestern, northwestern, northeastern, southeastern uh, for this episode. The outer castle. The inner castle, there are two gates. One is located in the northwestern quadrant, I believe. And the other one's in the southwestern quadrant, I think. Um, southeastern quadrant, rather. North, northwest, southeast. Uh, and they lead to the uh, the rose garden, the hedge maze, and we'll do that for the second episode, um, the fo the following episode after this. Let's go. Uh, kind of remembered the entrance being here. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, there's no map here. We want to go into this building first. No, oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Piled up out of the way are an assortment of weapons and armor. Do you take it? Sure. You don't get any experience for this. This is just... This is every weapon in the game. This is like the, the shop where you can buy everything. And for some reason, you can just pick up anything you want here. We're going to leave it. First thing you want to do is find this building. Enter building where women are washing clothes. As you come in, they retreat to the corner, looking fearfully at you. Hear one of them whisper, they don't belong here. They must have come to kill Tyrant Thraxus. A half work woman steps forward. What do you want of us? We're going to be nice. Woman says, Tyrant Thraxus is leading our men to their deaths. If you intend to kill him, we will help. Use these clothes as a, as a disguise and you will escape notice. Yes, we are going to use them as a disguise. Well then, good luck. Best you leave before you are found here. Keep silence. Just gonna leave. We can tie them up, we can kill them, we can leave. We're just gonna leave. All right. What's in here again? Nothing. A lot of these buildings are empty. Actually, there might be treasure around here. There are patrols of hill giants with like a human fighter. We went in there already. We're in a storeroom full of coal. There are some people who will stop and ask you questions. Nothing in here? We're in a standard meat smokehouse. Well, maybe not quite standard. You feel a little sick as you look at the meat. Smell and smoke don't help either. Monsters eating... Humanoid flesh, people, elves, that sort of thing. A building that was once a barracks, but has now been converted to a temple of Bane. Far into the room is a crude altar. Altar is misspelled. A priest and two acolytes turn from the altar. Ah! Welcome, my children. Come forward and accept the blessing of Lord Bane. If you're an evil party, you can accept the blessing of Lord Bane. I don't know if it does anything. Um. Whatever you do, though, do not touch anything on the altar itself. You can steal some money from, like a like a collections box, and there are two cross swords on the wall. Take either one of those. All the monsters in the castle are like, "Hey, they're the ones who robbed the Temple of Bane," and then they all attack you. And your disguise is for naught. The cross swords on the wall are also minus two long swords. You don't want them anyway. But we're gonna kill them. <laughs> Battle begins. How about some whole person up in this bitch? I should stick with that. Might have been a might have been a better idea. Level five cleric. Level one cleric. Okay. That was a mistake. You should have run.
I think that is the necklace of fireballs. The necklace of missiles. I don't remember what's magical here or what's cursed even. Before the altar, misspelled again. Oh, for two. <laughs> Near it is the offering box. Some change in it. Do you take it? No. Behind the altar, two cross swords. Do you take them? No. Leave. All right, and that's the southeast part. Southwest part. We're going to do the northwest part now. East west, same thing. Giant snakes or something? Oh, you see some giants putting on their armor. We're going to talk to them. Oh, they're fighting us. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm going to talk to them. Fire, <laughs> using the language of fireball. Ignan, the language is Ignan. You know what? We're going to cast one too. So now we're getting into the part of the game where things are immune to fire. Like fire giants. Those friendly guys. Man, these guys can hurt. Oh, I get another attack. Level seven fighters. Pretty nice. Yeah, we can take the boulders, but uh, we're not. Oh, some crap. Why some treasure? Do you take it? It's not a lot of treasure. Two experience points. There's a few of those out there. All right, so this building is empty. Um, that's one of the gates going into the inner castle, where the, uh, the hedge maze is. There are definitely fire giants in here. I'm gonna save the game. There's a trap here too. We open the door all the way, you notice a bucket above the door. You kick the door open, letting the bucket fall harmlessly to the ground. Giants have placed the bucket there, charge. Oh boy. There are fire giants. Now, fire giants are very difficult. They're absolutely, do not take them lightly. They are, however, susceptible to stinking cliff. But they can hurt you. Horribly. Mmm. Missed. Thank heavens. Ooh. Seven hit points. Magic missile. Getting lucky that they're missing someone. I think. Lightning bolt also works on them. But I kinda missed my chance to do it. Oh, 25 damage. Oh my word. Oh no. Alright, we did it. Oh. More than half are hit points. One go only cash here. Man, that sucked. I'm going to try and rest here. I think it's a bad idea. Okay, so we were able to rest. Kind of surprising. We'll not complain about it. Enter a latrine. The lack of bad smell gives you a general idea of the level of sanitation practiced by the inhabitants of the area. They're very clean. Good. Another latrine. 
break through the door into a well-fitted apartment. Two giants come lumbering up to you. You turn to face them. Giants stand in front of you, looking suspicious. Parlay? Hey, what do you think you're doing? You're gonna be... Nice? Oh, okay. And with that, they leave. <laughs> Under a loose stone, you find some treasure. You take it? Sure. I don't remember what's here. 200 gold and a potion. Great. If you can avoid fights, it's worth it. Um, obviously, you don't get any experience, but... Fighter emerges from the building. What are you doing here? Parlay. What are you doing here? We're going to be nice. Quickly retreats. The, uh, I was just going to say... Uh, I should have been abusive. It's good to avoid fights because this alarm nonsense is... So annoying. What are you doing here? Parlay. Abusive. Sorry, sir, there's an alert. On who's authority are you here? Tyrant Thraxis. Out of the head, you are left alone. The alarm is still sounding. Confront an armed man who immediately attacks you. Great. Whoops. Oh. Well, I don't think he actually wanted to do that, but... Because he's now dead. Uh... This stuff is magical. Is there an alarm still sounding? Of course. What are you doing here? Abusive. I'm gonna try and... Yeah, so this guy's leading a group of uh, hill giants. Iron Thrax. This is what you want to avoid this. I don't think I know how to spell Tyrant Thraxis. Oh, alarm's gone. In a hall with long tables, benches, and a great hearth at one end. In the corners are heaps of garbage being picked over by some rats. Clear your entrance. That's disgusting. Nothing in here. Nothing in here either, I don't think. But yeah, you can do those fights. They're worth a lot of experience, but it's just, it's a lot. It's annoying. And you end up burning through a lot of your resources and hit points. All right, so now we're in the northeast quadrant. A fighter emerges from the building nearby and confronts you. What are you doing here? Uh, we're trying to build a bridge over troubled water. Be abusive. Whose authority are you here? Out of the head, you're left alone. Room is empty. Those guys, the humans who... Basically, every human who works for Tyrant Faxes has something magical on them. If you want to put up with that alarm, kill them all. Absolutely just kill them all. All Simon. If you walk into that building, he will just straight up fight you. Enter a room that more resembles a pigsty than the barracks it is. In the room are four giants. Giants look up at you. Uh, there's no no way around this, I don't think. I think you have to fight them. Let's try and parlay. What are you doing here? Hotty. Sorry, sir. Yeah, we can get you to the boss. This paper has the passwords. Today's password is, ah, oh, okay, so that's how you do it. Hati. Today's password is, a password is, a password is Rodia, R-H-O-D-I-A. And the general password is Harash, H-A-R-A-S-H. -A -A cool. Um, we defuse that situation. And fire giants are really difficult. They can just straight up murder you. Okay, 
empty building. One of these things, the the Pentagon Armory inside is a large assortment of armor and weapons. You want to take anything? Yeah, this is the same. It's just the the all the items from the shop. You don't need anything from here. No. One of these buildings, the roof just collapses on. He's just like, eh, man, you get stuck on this for a little while. You enter a room that reeks of smoke and burned food. You see three human slaves cooking meat, peeling potatoes, being beaten by a vicious looking gnoll. What do you do? Kill the overseer and free the slaves. Go back outside, talk to the overseer. We're gonna, just going to kill the overseer. The gnoll turns to flee. As he runs by, one of the slaves trips him, advance and cut the overseer's throat. Two of the slaves run quickly out the door. The third approaches you with tears of gratitude in his eyes. Thank you for freeing me. Before I leave, let me help you as best I can. He takes out a slip of paper from the pouch of the dead knoll. Here, you'll need this. Look at the writing. Rodea. Today's password at the main gate into the hedge maze. Last, I cannot help you with that, for I have not been inside, but I have heard the maze is deadly. It literally is. Try to cut through it. And you get stung by one of the thorns, you can, the character just dies. The character is just killed. You're in a building full of records. Do you, want to, do you wish to spend hours reading the records? Yes. You find evidence that the Red Wizards of Thay are allied to Tyrant Thraxis. Red Wizards of Thay, long history of just doing evil stuff. They do nothing really but wage war with themselves and each other and other nations. All of liches and stuff like that. There's just bad news. You're finding a pattern to Tyrant Thraxus's activities. At first, Tyrant Thraxus's followers were an unsophisticated horde of ill-organized unhumans. Now they are much more sinister. The web of corruption he has spread is incredible in its scope. His ultimate goal is to conquer all land south of the Moon Sea. Find anything more, you will have to spend so much time that you will need to clear the area first. Lon is on the northern shore of the Moon Sea. And the kingdoms south of it are actually the subject of sequels to this game. Into a brightly lit building which reeks of tallow and leather. These six scribes busily writing down the reports of a couple of officers. An officer looks to you. What are you doing here? Arlea. Right. Yusuf. Who's authority? Iron Thy Access. I have to do this every time. I mean, I bet these guys. I bet these guys have magic items. I'm just going to fight them. Six guys dive recovers the dude's attack. Ouch. Oh! Son of a... How dare you? Yeah, those, I think those are plus two two-handed swords. Following catches your eye. Don't be fooled by outward forms, for you shall know me by my flaming aura, Iron Thraxis. Find a report indicating that the Northern Barbarians are ready for the takeover of a strong leader and that the chief of the Raven Clan is allied to Tyrant Thraxis. Find evidence that Kadorna has been using you for his own ends and has been seeking the Pool of Radiance for himself. No shit. What else is in here? Are there any unassorted reports? <laughs> I think that's all we can find here. All right. Final quadrant of the outer castle. Southeast, baby. I think there are giant snakes in here who can poison and kill you. Hello. You see giant snakes. There's a lot of them. Uh, 
lightning bolt. You are my friend. Forever and always. Lightning bolt. Yeah. Dang. Look out! Giant snake. Oh, it has one hit point left. Killed it. Killed it dead. All right, let's uh get some of our spells back. That'd be a good idea. Another human? Oh, empty building. And there's the other entrance to the uh Edge maze. Here we go. This is a small cell. Chained to the wall is a man beaten to within an inch of his life. As you open the door, he looks up and you feel a shock. Man, where fear is Kadorna. In the name of Shantua, help me, please. By all that's merciful, help me. He begins to cough. We can release him, leave him, or kill him. We're under orders from the city council to kill him if we see him. But we're going to kill him. Wait, he shrieks. I know how you get through the main gates. I can help you. <laughs> you already have the passwords, bud. He does give you the passwords if you free him. But then he's free, and you don't get to exact your revenge. Justice isn't served then, so we're going to kill him. With a quick stroke, you release him from this pain to all the pain to come. Suggesting that he's going to H-E double hockey sticks. Or he's a well filled with water. Water looks cold and deep. Do you want to dive in? Sure. We'll dive in. Helper. Reach the bottom, feel around. You find a sword. Do you take it? Yep. Got it. I think that that is a plus. I got a plus four longsword. Think it was seven, 1d8 plus seven. Think of nine, 1d8 plus five. Okay, so it's a plus three longsword, which is pretty good. I think this is the flame tongue sword, perhaps. Man. Whoops. Take him with the morning star. That's the last major event, I think. You try and stand barring away. Oh, what password? Who sent you? Sorry, me not know. Just doing job. You go now. <laughs> Audi. And deserted building. Nothing but very large cobwebs here. I'll be the judge of what's here. Just they're just large cobwebs here. Why don't you say anything before? I think this is the one where the roof caves in on you. Push door open, the ceiling caves in. Okay. I slash the outer castle, everybody. Thanks for watching Kelvin's Coin TV. Next episode, we're gonna go in to the hedge maze. Find our way to Tyrant Thraxis. We're gonna cut his head off.